In a kingdom with too many rules. <laughs> Keep walking. Justin had a dream to break free. I want to be a knight. You will need a quest. Find my grandfather's sword and bring it home. So, um, Sir Clorox became a knight for, for the fame and the riches. What attracted you to make this film? Many things. Uh, you know, the, I started working with animation uh, in 2003, uh, doing a character called Puss in Boots in a movie called Shrek. And uh, so I got uh, interested in the animation world, and then a group of people from the south of Spain, a good friend of mine, and uh, cartoonist mainly, but also uh, computer programmers, they came to me, they showed me some of the work that were they, they were doing at the time. So I got involved in a first movie that we did called The Missing Links. And then we did a short movie, just improving our technology, um, that was nominated for an Academy Award called Lady and the Ripper. And then we decided just to make a third movie, which is uh, Justin and the Knights of Valor. So that was pretty much, you know, the, the process. Now, the world's unlikeliest hero. You are here because I want to be trained. We'll need to find the courage <laughs> to meet his destiny. Because just in the movie, Justin travelled with Lara's lucky sock. Do you guys have a lucky item you carry with you around? Um, mm, I actually, I'm not totally superstitious, except when I do theatre or when I do movies. I may just repeat the same rituals. Yeah. Whatever I did and that day was good, I'm going to repeat it again the next day. It doesn't have to do with talking, but uh, with the way that you perform. Yeah. I'm very superstitious and every time I see a magpie I have to say <laughs> magpie magpie where's your wife where there's one there's two seven six five four three two one <laughs> so that's me <laughs> but I'm slightly crazy so. that's so cool <laughs> <laughs> for this test we chose a dragon This land will have a new king. Oh, nice crown. Heraclio has the sword. He'll chew you up and he'll spit you out. I'm ready. I like your spirit. So, we're going to ask three questions and you're going to tell us whether it's true or false, okay? Oh my god, here we go. This is the, the, the part I'm that you're so just so afraid. <laughs> you're competitive, I, I just don't. You, you're going to win. Ah, no, okay. I won't. First question mm -hmm. Knights fought on piggyback, both of you. Um, to practice their balance, true or false? On piggyback, I think I'm going to go false. Yeah. Okay. I, I, All right. Okay. It's false. It's totally false. That's <gasps> <sighs> <sighs> yep. true. Crazy. Okay. I don't care because I'm not competitive, but you are. <laughs> you, should be, you should be caring about this. I am speaking to you later. Don't you worry, Antonio. <laughs> 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 so, um, our second question. Knights use their chest armour as sledges in the snow. True or false? It's false. Totally false. Really? I'd love to think it was true. But okay, I'm going to go false. Yeah, it's true false. Okay. Of course. That was easy. Okay. Last one. Knights wore ladies' accessories when they were jousting. True or false? Oh, maybe for because they were in love with someone that they did it as a lucky charm. Maybe. I'm going with her. True? Ding! <laughs> <laughs> well done, guys. Well done. You need a sidekick? If you won't join my army, you will face it. Now, no, stop! stop. <laughs> The beginning of a new age for new heroes. Justin and the Knights of Valor.